Sports. Welcome back, everyone. For Mizzou football, the running back position that was once strong with depth is down to one man. After losing Marcus Murphy, Kendall Lawrence, and Devin Moore, a healthy Henry Josie stands alone. Sophomore Henry Josie is the only tailback left with experience. Uh, any volunteers? Mizzou receiver TJ Moe raises his hand and says he's available when Missouri hosts Western Illinois on Saturday. Josie has a motor. This season he's averaging more than nine yards per carry. For his career, he's averaged more than six yards every rush. Josie had six carries for 94 yards at Arizona State. I wasn't perfect. Uh, I had a good game. Like That's all I'm saying. I can play better than that. And uh, I have to improve on that game, especially with my blocking wise, because I know I can block better than that. We, we have some stuff to work on. I think, I think it was definitely an improvement from the week before. But uh, you know, we're not trying to stay the same team all year. We're trying to become a better football team every week, and, and that was just step one. It's easy for me to get up for the game. I feel like it'll be easy for my teammates to do it as well. You know, we, we just lost, so we're really hungry for a win. We need to get back on track and uh, get back to winning like Mizzou does. And the National Football League writes checks for 14 former Missouri players now. Most recently, the Rams signed former Missouri center Tim Barnes to the team's practice squad today. And the Dallas Cowboys released former Mizzou tight end Martin Rucker today. T-Ruck led the Cowboys with nine preseason receptions. He had 107 receiving yards and caught a game-winning two-point conversion. Rucker has played for three NFL teams. This is his fourth season as a pro. And Brad Smith wasn't the only Buffalo Bill to return to Missouri this past weekend. Former Missouri guard Colin Brown had a homecoming of his own. Brown is from Bramer, Missouri and grew up cheering for the Chiefs. The Chiefs drafted Brown in 2009, but now he's playing for the Buffalo Bills. The Bills inactivated Brown for Sunday's game, but he says it's nice to be home. I was excited. It was, I mean, I still got a lot of work to do, but I mean, it's a step in the right direction. And you know, getting closer to it with what I want to do. I, I mean, I was here last year in camp, so I mean, a lot of guys I still know. It was, you know, interesting, nice to get to talk to some of them. You know, I'm still working on the run blocking. That's, you know, not something we necessarily did a whole lot of in college, and so it's still something that, you know, you got to get better at. In college baseball in the fall, well, the Mizzou baseball team will host Iowa in a pair of exhibition games on October 8th and 9th to benefit Joplin. Mizzou will announce the Saturday start time later so it doesn't conflict with the Tiger football game. Sunday's game starts at 1. Tickets are $5. All proceeds will help Joplin Little League rebuild fields. And one family at California High School set up a $1,000 scholarship that goes to the top offensive lineman on the football team. The Alley family started the scholarship in honor of one of their own, Randy Alley, who died in a house fire in 1994. Randy played offensive line and linebacker for the Pintos. The family is happy they have a way to honor their son. And that's it for sports. More news after this.